Hey, did everybody see that? Jesus' mission yes. was to reveal God the Father. No man, that's, the clear, that's clear as the Bible can say it. No man had seen God at any time, but the only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father hath what? Declared him. That's it. That's clear as it gets. If it wasn't for Jesus declaring God the Father, we would not even have any knowledge of who he is. Go to John 5. What does it say? John 5, verse 37. And the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. Jesus said it. The Father bears witness of me, but you have never heard his voice. You have never seen his shape. Yes. It was Jesus. It was Jesus. See, by the time we hear Jesus say this, he is, there is no New Testament. So he is speaking only of what has already been written. It had already been written about the request that Moses has made, has made. And he saw God move in the cleft of the rock. And even then it was his hind. But it was Jesus. No man. Jesus said, no man. See, you can stand on that. No man has seen God at any time. Nor his shape. So that was Jesus even then. Moving and conversing. No man has seen God. First John 4 and 12. What does it say? No man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another. God dwelleth in us. And his love is perfected in us. Three times we have in the New Testament, no man had seen God at any time. It's said three times. Now, Numbers In what case of Remember when they talked against Moses and everything and then God came to the to the tabernacle and told them all y'all come on out here any time I talk to my man da, 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 da. So the voice of God in the cloud, in the Shekinah cloud, when they came to the tent of meeting. Any voice of God in the Old Testament was Jesus Christ. Any of them, any voice that is God speaking is Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. It's him. No man had seen God at any time. Neither has he heard his voice nor seen his shape. No man. First John 4 and 12. Telling Abraham to sacrifice Isaac? Yeah. Okay. Any dialogue with a human was Jesus. No man. And see, your question would be pertinent, but Jesus made it clear, nor have you heard his yes, voice. Right. That's right. So any dialogue that was made between man and the divine was not God the Father, it was Jesus. Now let's establish it closer. Turn to Deuteronomy 32. That takes us to the burning bush. I want you to look at the words of the one speaking out of the burning bush. 
this will further declare for us. I just want us to appreciate who Jesus is and further establish the mystery that this great God has made the world. In the Old Testament, he says, with my right hand, I made the world. And then turns around and becomes a little bitty baby. And lays in the womb of a human being. 22. 32. Chapter 32 of Exodus. I mean, Deuteronomy. 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 Y'all, y'all right. Y'all right. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. 32, verse 3 and 4. Who's got the mic? Give it to Pearly. Come on, Pearly, read that for me, please. Verse 3 and 4. Deuteronomy 32, verse 3 and 4. Okay. What does it say? For I will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness for our God. The rock, his work is perfect, and all his ways are just. A, per a faithful God without deceit, just with upright is he. Is that right? Wait a minute, Pearly, that ain't right. You said Deuteronomy 3 and 4. 32. Verse 30, uh, chapter 32. That's what I thought I was in. All right, did you? Chapter 32, verse 3 and 4. Did I read, I read that right? Is that? All right. Did you want me to go somewhere else? No, ma'am. You, 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 you did all right, ma'am. You want me to read it again? All right, I, I looked at it again. Yeah, read it again. Okay. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 3 and 4. For I will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. Mm -hmm. The rock is his work is perfect, and all his ways are just. A perfect God without deceit, just and upright is he. All right. Now, go to, Pearly, go to chapter 3 of Exodus. Exodus. Yeah. make me work on this, huh? Exodus, yeah, I'm working. The Exodus what again? Exodus 3. 3, alright. Okay, I'm in chapter 3. What verse? 3, uh, 2. Chapter 3, verse 2. There are the angels of, women, make sure. There are the angels of the mountain of God, women. There are the angels of the Lord appear to him in a flame of fire out of a bush. He looked and the bush was blazing, yet it was not consumed. All right, go on through. Read on through to 6. Okay. When Moses said, I must turn aside and look at the great sight. Let me put my glasses on because I can't see. Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting old. Okay, let me start all over. You said, no, wait a minute. You said, verse 2, right? Okay. There are the angels... Okay. There the angels of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of a bush. He looked, and the bush was blazing, yet it was not consumed. When Moses said, I must turn aside and look at his great sight and see why the bush is not burned up. When the Lord saw that he had turned aside to see, God talked, called to him out of the bush, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. Then he said, Come no, come no closer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. He then, farther, he then said farther, I am the Lord of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses, said, Mo Moses hid his face, and for he was afraid to look at God. When the Lord said, I am observed the mystery of my people who are in Egypt. I have heard their cry on account of their taskmaster. Indeed, I know their suffering, and, and I have come down to deliver them from the e Egyptians and to bring him up out of the land to a good and broad land, a land flowing with milk and honey, to the father of the Canaanites, the Hesitites, and, Hesitites and the Amorites, the, okay, his high vice, these words? Okay, and the Jebusites. Is that enough? Keep reading. Okay. The cry of the Israelites has, has now come to me. I have also seen how the Egyptians oppress them. So he come, and I will send you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, 
Who am I not? I shall go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites.